Okay, thank you very much. A very, very last question concerning the relationship between the United States and Europe. Uh, one uh, question we have is whether this kind of result could in the end favor the fast track for TTIP, for the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Authority. We are very interested in that. The answer to that question is yes, it could very well do that because that is one of the few issues where President Obama, a Democrat, and the Republican majorities now in Congress, they actually agree. Republicans are closely allied with the business community and they support free trade. Democrats are actually divided on trade. But President Clinton is a supporter of free trade with Europe and in the Pacific as well, with the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Um, the two sides are now looking for areas of agreement. There aren't too many, but trade is one of them. Possibly the Keystone XL pipeline could be one. Possibly some minor, not minor, but some tax measures that both sides tend to support. But trade, I think, is going to be become one of the first issues they act on, uh, even though it will split the Democratic Party. Look, President Clinton supported NAFTA. He supported free trade. And when those came up for a vote in Congress, his party, the Democratic Party, split 50-50. They passed because he got votes of almost all Republicans. The same thing is likely to be true for President Obama. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Bill.